the second episode of Jersey Shore Poconos Christmas of 2020, still during the COVID epidemic. It starts off with Vinny coming to Mike's house, and Mike is in full investigation of what's going on with Angelina and Chris. It seems Chris has moved out, unfollowed Angelina, and generally is missing. Angelina is really upset, and Mike becomes the investigation. So Mike is down in his basement, and he set out a layout of papers and pictures, trying to figure out what's going on with Angelina and Chris. He says that he's been reaching out to Angelina, but hasn't been getting any response. So he's very worried as to what's going on. You see that Mike's shoulder and upper arms are huge. So he's been doing his exercise regularly. By January 9th, 2021, it's clear that something is wrong with Angelina and Chris's marriage. Jenny reports to Dina that Chris has purchased a new Cadillac and she feels he is very angry and bitter and it reminds her of her divorce. Dina said she's noticed how Angelina will belittle, belittle Chris and then he'll belittle her, but he thought that was part of their normal relationship. And now it seems she was wrong. Pauly D is celebrating that he spent one year with Nikki in home isolation and that they did very well during COVID. He wants to present her with something to celebrate and so he brings out a small box which looks like a Tiffany box, a blue Tiffany box, and he says she is his best friend and he wants to give her something, a ring. And so he presents her with the box and in it is his ring code for his security system. Jenny calls Mike and says, Angelina called her, she seems to be off the rails about what's going on with her marriage. And Jenny says, she's so busy because she's doing the homeschooling with the kids and other stuff that she wants Mike to check in on her so that they can figure out how they can help. Angelina reports Chris moved out about three weeks ago, took down his Christmas stocking, and now she has to take down the Christmas tree all by herself. Angelina reports that Chris has refused marital counseling and now she says she had to hire a lawyer. Mike tells Angelina she has to discuss how Chris treats her. She needs to give him an ultimatum. She needs to make sure that he's, he's in the house, that he's sleeping in the bed and not in the couch, and he can't just leave the house whenever he wants without telling her anything or letting her know, what, letting her know what's going on. Angelina discusses her abandonment issues since childhood because her father uh, abandoned her uh, when she was little and she says, why did he abandon me? What did I do? Uh, it's of note that Mike has a dark mark on his right cheek, which I never noticed before, and you can't really see it on the camera, but he should probably get that taken off. 
by a dermatologist. Lauren goes over to Dina's house and the two pregnant ladies sit down and chit chat over a little snack. Lauren discusses the girls getting together and celebrating Mike's five year sobriety celebration and Jenny is on board and so are the other castmates. Mike visits a local rehab meeting and talks about how he's coming up on five years sober and encourages the people in the group to continue to try to remain sober and that if he could do it, they can do it too. The leader of the sobriety group gives Mike a acrylic trophy to celebrate his five years sober anniversary and tells he's a great role model for the others to see and to try to follow in his path. Jenny suggests to Zach that all the roommates celebrate Mike's five years so sobriety celebration with a drive-by with all of the roommates decorating their cars, driving by, honking their horns, and giving a big shout out to show their enthusiasm for his continued success with sobriety. Then a real surprise, Jenny invites Angelina over to her house for a workout so that Angelina can get rid of some of her aggression and anger at Chris about the status of their marriage and also just to give Angelina a physical workout because she really doesn't work out. Angelina reveals that one of her guy friends saw Chris in a bar with two of his guy friends and sitting at their table were two girls. Angelina says they all left together and that 11 hours and something later, he leaves the hotel. And Jenny says, well, how did you know how long it was? How, long, how did you know it was 11 hours? She said, she has a car tracker. And then Jenny says, hey, how do I get one of those? As for the two guys on the West Coast, Paulie D and Ronnie, they get together at Paulie's house and they discuss Angelina's marital problems and that he's, Paulie knows that Chris has been out of the house for weeks. Then he calls Mike and says he's sorry that he can't make the sober anniversary, but something came up and he'll see Mike in about a month. Of course, they're planning to surprise Mike with the sober anniversary car parade. Paulie D and Ronnie plan to send a video message to Mike because they can't make the trip and be there in person. So everybody meets up for the celebration and they prepare their cars with lots of balloons and um, Myler numbers, the number five, and they're all ready to go and they have to wait for Angelina. Angelina comes more than two hours late and says the reason she's late is because she has to take care of her dogs. And the others say, well, we have kids and pets and we managed to get here on time. Angelina insists that her lateness is okay because of her pets, 
But eventually she comes to the meetup spot. Finally, Angelina arrives. She sticks a little or a big bow on one of her doors. And that's all the decorations that I can see that she has. They make a caravan off to get to Mike's house. But as they are going to over there, the decorations are flying off the cars and they're losing a lot of the spectacularness of the decorations. But eventually they get there, they're honking, they're yelling, and Mike and Lauren come out to see the crowd. They're all smiles, everybody's happy, it's going great. Then the truck that Ronnie and Paulie D rented drives up with a big screen on the side and it's their video wishing congratulations to Mike on his five year sober anniversary. And they also send along a pizza truck and some of the pizzas are even cauliflower crust because of course there is because of course there is the keto guido everybody's thrilled uh, so they have the pizzas and then lauren had made some desserts some uh, cupcakes the famous funfetti cupcakes and everybody's happy mike's really happy because everybody's there in person or in spirit and he's having a great time then the biggest surprise of all snooki unexpectedly drives up in her car she had been invited but no one ever expected her to come there are tears by mike and by jenny at seeing her big hugs kisses and it turns into an even bigger celebration there's snow on the ground snooki has on a knit ski cap with a pom-pom on the top and she's snapping pictures as she drives up and the party's here <laughs> 